What's going on, everybody? It's Dark Shot of the YouTube Assassin, and it's Taco Tuesday. And we still have these dead bodies here. These things have been here for like two months. Well, the one has been here for like three. The other one's been a couple of weeks. Anyway, uh, we continue the Taco Tuesday trifecta with Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We're going to see how Sargon is going to disappoint us. We're going to see what ship we're chasing after. And a whole bunch of other fun and hilarity Anyway, we're going to go, before we see Sargon, we're going to see this other body. Look at this. These guys just move around. One day they're like on the stairs. One day they're laid out somewhere and then they're moved somewhere else. Anyway, let's check out what Sargon has. And already we're disappointed. We have uh, this ship design here for 80 ore. And I don't know why we continue that. Braces of the Underworld, part of the Hades set. 25% warrior damage, 30% adrenaline per hit. Gain 50% of an adrenaline segment with warrior abilities. That is 80 ore, and you might want that if you want to complete the set. Rough staff, 24% warrior damage, 30% damage with staffs, 40% fire damage. That is 50 ore. Next, Spartan Bracers, 24% warrior damage, 10% crit chance, and 50% crit damage for 40 ore. Those bracers are not looking bad at all, honestly. And then if you have crazy amounts of ore, you can just go for an Olympian gift for 20 and take a gamble. You may get a legendary, you may get an epic. Either way, you may get something very, very useful. So now we'll go and we'll check out the bounty board and we'll see what's going on here. So we have pirate on a bounty ship or bounty on a pirate ship. And that is uh, the next thing we have is the plague of villainy. That is our other weekly. So let's take a look at what we've got first. I want to take a look at the Plague of Villainy there. We've got the bounty on the pirate ship. Destroy pirate ships all over Greece and kill bandits all over Greece. 10 and 15 respectively. Bandits are going to be easy. You could just go to the arena and do that. Unless you want to just travel around and look for actual bandit areas. Little bandit camps and whatnot. Uh, as far as the pirate ship goes, you probably want to sail all around here. There's all these like pirate islands and whatnot. And you'll get a bunch of them there. Also, in doing the ship today, you'll have two of the ships that you have to sink are actually pirate ships and count as pirate ships. The other ship does not. So now let's take a look at what the sail is going to look like. And we're going to go. Yeah, like I said, you have the three ships. The one ship is counted as a rogue kind of ship. Here it is, the old Nereus. And I kind of like the design. It's pretty cool. It's got a good color scheme. Really do like that. It's one of the better legendary ship designs. Normally they just look funky. But this one actually looks pretty good. And let's see, where is that sucker? Where did he go? Did I? Yes, I did. Okay. Just making sure that I actually put it on there. And we are right over here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on over there and then bring you guys in. It's not going to move, but this is going to take like a couple of minutes for me to get over there. And, and otherwise this video is going to be forever. Anyway, here we go. We're going to attack the ship. There it is, and it's surrounded by the two pirate ships. And like I said, those two pirate ships will not attack it. They consider it kind of like a rogue ship. They're there in its defense. They, the, Three of them do not count as pirate ships. Only the two pirate ships will count this third ship the actual ship that we're attacking it's just like some rogue thing i know a lot of people have asked if uh it's got like spartan sails or if it's got athenian sails would it be considered that even if it's an actual pirate ship it's not even considered a pirate ship it's really weird the way that that's programmed if it was spartan or athenian no other ships would defend it if they were in the area so here we go we're going to take out these pirate ships and what I like to do is break them down and cleave them in half because that's how you get the most materials, at least in my opinion. Uh, as you can see, I'm also playing like a way too much Black Flag lately. I've been uh, really getting into that game. And uh, it's just weird seeing different mechanics as far as the ships go. That's one of the down parts of like all the Assassin's Creed games. Each one has a different kind of mechanic. And I'm starting to notice that, especially since I'm doing that series where 
I'm taking a look back at the prior games. They all have like different controls, different ways of moving. Some you could adapt to easily, some you really can't. Some are just really insane. So here we go, there's only these two ships left. That dude was like floating on air for a second there. Take that guy out, this guy is burning. And we'll ram him. Hit the weak points there. I don't know which I like more, the pirate battles, like the pirate ship battles, or the actual uh, mercenary battles. I kind of like the mercenary thing better. Not a huge fan of the water here. So here we go, cleave that in half, got a whole bunch of stuff. Also got 44 ore and a serpent bow. The reason I got the serpent bow was because I already have the sail. So rather than give you another sail, they're going to give you the uh, some other item, an epic item, which you could have multiples of. And then the 44 ores, because I'm the top tier mercenary, when you get to that level, you get 10% more ore than you normally would, meaning that doing these uh, pirate raids, or if you do a mercenary, any sort of weekly, you'll get 44 rather than 40, and if you do a daily, you'll get 11 ore rather than 10. So there it is, took them all down, and that's what the ship looks like. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you in the next one. And of course, we're going to end this one on a Yayi. Yayi!